Let's uh, <laughs> let's move on to this. Is something that the media is not covering right now because they have Fauci on there because that's all they have. Yeah. Um, Flopping again. We had this ready because it was an article from Washington uh, Post. I think maybe it was Wall Street Journal. Yeah. And then we noticed that CNN covered this really really quickly going into a break. Real fast. And they didn't cover it when they came back from a break. Oh. So before we go to the clip, the first uh, migrant facility for kids under Joe Biden oh. opened up two days ago. Right, and it's just yeah. buried in page 10. Here's yeah, CNN talking about it before a break, and I'm not really addressing it again. This happened this morning. So I've heard the administration's explanations for this. They say they need more space to space these children out due to the pandemic. But I wonder, in practice, this administration is how still holding are those kids at these migrant uh, facilities <laughs> here. How different is their approach in practice from the Trump administration approach? Yes, so unfortunately, this is a reopening of a temporary facility. When we think of temporary facilities, we remember facilities such as Homestead and Tornillo. These are widely criticized facilities for lack of transparency, history of abuse. This is definitely concerning. Unfortunately, it has to balance with prolonged custody in CBP care, which has led to death of children. So there's, you know, at this point, um, the, the solution has to be something different. President Joe Biden. This is <laughs> he loves the kids. By the way, and to be clear, this is something we talked about this when we uh, did our change my mind on immigration. The, the Florence consent, uh, the, the Flores consent policy. It yeah. was was it ninety seven or ninety three? Someone can make sure that I'm right on that. I know it was under the Clinton yeah, era. Ninety seven. It was ninety seven. Ninety seven. Uh, and it uh, it decreed that children cannot be held in federal detention facilities for any extended period of time. They must be placed in licensed care programs or released to a relative. So look, I don't. This the problem is those pictures that you saw of those kids in cages right under the Trump yeah, administration. Right. Th that was from the Obama era. That being said, the reason for it was because when parents are committing a crime but the kids aren't, you want to put the children in a facility that is far more comfortable than for the parents. Right. Uh, and those kids weren't in – it's like a holding room, like TSA, you know, where they put yeah. on the glove and they check you out and then you're free to go. Yeah. Everyone else has yeah. – Yeah, it's well, where you want to bring It's not five star. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. You know. um, that's, that's really – so I want to be clear in that it was a double standard from the left, and I, I don't think that anyone was really at fault for this. People were not sleeping in cages uh, in underpasses on the freeway, right. all brown children. It was never true. I don't think that Barack Obama wanted to hurt these children. I don't think that Donald Trump wanted to hurt these children. But the issue, again, is whether this is applied – Equally, and this is what's interesting. They use it as political fodder. Yeah. They use pictures from the Obama administration right. of kids in cages to lay yeah. it at the feet of Donald Trump and say that he was a racist. But now this is verifiably true. Okay, Gitmo still open. These cages still exist. By the way, Biden was there when Obama started yeah. them too. The guy's got to get his money worth, right? They spent some. They're the ones who built them. Who built the cages? Put Joe. the money down. <laughs> One of the best lines in all of debate history. Yeah. Who built the cages, Joe? By the way, that's rhetorical. You. <laughs> You built the cages. The I love no that way. he said it half a dozen times, and yeah. Joe's like, come on, man. Yeah, Come on, cloud. Come on, come on, man. Who built the cages, Joe? I rest my case. So, uh, Saki, Jen Saki, was asked yesterday, yeah. uh, specifically, which in a rare uh, moment of journalistic integrity, about the inconsistency. I think this is from uh, Ducey. Oh, are we uh, circling back? Yeah, are we circling <laughs> back? Oh. Uh, she was asked about the cages. Look at her dancing here. Kamala Harris said that this facility, putting people in this facility, was a human rights abuse committed by the United States government. And Joe Biden said, under Trump, there have been horrifying scenes of border uh, at the border of kids being kept in cages. Now, it's not under Trump, it's under Biden. This is not kids being kept in cages. This is, this is kids, this is a facility that was opened that's going to follow the same standards as other HHS facilities. It is not a replication, certainly not. Oh. The, that's, that is never our intention of replicating the immigration policies of the past administration. But we are in a circumstance where we are not going to expel unaccompanied minors at the border. That would be inhumane. That is not what we are going to do here as an administration. Joe, Joe Biden loves kids. And if you play your cards right, he'll wrap your head in duct tape and use you like a scratch and sniff. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the, the, there's going to be a correction from CNN. Uh, Disneyland El Paso uh, actually is open for yeah. children. <laughs> yeah. like, come on, come on. Yeah, exactly. It's Every like, kid will receive a bushel basket and point it to an orange tree. <laughs> oh. Go collect the oranges, Go. kids. You can sell them by the overpass. <laughs> By the way, what's interesting, too, I think we have a collage here. A lot of Democrats are getting buyer's remorse over Biden. Yeah. Which, it's I hilarious. Because they thought it meant no more kids in cages. But Oops. again, they paid for the cages. They got their money's worth. It's like when you pay for a movie and you know it's not going very well, but you yeah. want to see how it yeah. ends. 
Well, I would say that only Joe Biden doesn't have the attention span to finish a whole film, but he yeah. can just yeah. keep kids in You're cages. Not make it. If you don't use no. them, you don't get the tax write off. Come and on. Uh, of course, listen, I talked about they were largely built under Obama. So yeah. this is one of those things. They paid for the cages. Who built the cages, Joe? No one fact checked that because they just ignored it. They just said that that was, that that was untoward, that it was a little yeah. bit rude. It was brash for Donald Trump to say it. So this is what they do, okay? And then we have to get going. The best thing you can do, like I said, is just comment, share this, uh, get it up on Twitter, re like these posts because. I, I wouldn't give you any information here if I didn't believe in it 100%. I would uh, gladly go into court regarding these issues of voter fraud and make these claims and defend myself. Yeah. And uh, I would gladly lose my account if it means so for the truth. But here's what they do. They selectively apply the rules. And then when it's not a rule, but it comes down to, like you said, an opinion at that point. This is a clinical diagnosis. This is a rule. And this is my opinion. Comes down to the rules. They say, well, you can't do this as it relates to verifying uh, voter fraud, which we did. But you can do this, uh, Klobuchar, uh, in making a verifiably false claim. But then it come, Then it happens even uh, more, I guess you would say. It's more sub subverse. That Then it comes down to the opinions, where when they absolutely can't possibly fact check Donald Trump in a debate, says, who built the cages, Joe? That fact check should read like all the other fact checks that you can see from all these mainstream websites yeah. in the debate is actually those uh, detention centers were created under Barack Obama as a result to later of the 97 floors consent policy. But instead, what they do is they'll fact check Donald Trump and ask him if he uh, if he uh, denounces white supremacists. Right. And he's, yeah. they go, well, you said you said yes, yes. But then you said stand by once. And then instead of fact checking that Joe Biden, in fact, was part of the administration that built the cages, they just go Donald Trump was being boorish. So it's yeah. not just this is one thing that people have always asked me. They say, why don't you talk more about like Rachel? Matt? I don't care about MSNBC. I don't care about uh, Salon outside of when they're promoting actual pedophiles, which they right. did at Salon. And they because did. of our researchers, we found them when the posts got removed. Because look, I, I don't care if someone says that they're left. I don't care if someone has an opinion. What is far more corrosive to our constitutional republic, and you're seeing this right now, with, uh, I, I want to say, well, no one really cares about ABC, NBC, CNN anymore, but uh, uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, the people who control all flow of information is they want to tell you, and they do tell you, under penalty of perjury, which to me there should be some accountability at some point, that there is no bias. That's the problem. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.